Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Tom Spark and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be checking out the Beats Studio Buds, doing a quick little review to help you decide if you should buy them or not. Hey guys, if you haven't picked a VPN yet, now might be a good time. They're good for your privacy and anonymity online, and they also help you unblock geo restrictions and those kind of things. Now here on the channel, I actually exclusively review VPNs for the most part, besides doing random tech videos like this one, and I'll help you decide which one to use by going to vpntierlist.com. This is an unsponsored, um, not paid for ranked VPN list that is pretty unique in the industry. You might have seen some other ads on other VPNs, and this list will help you decide which one is truly the best by all my objective reviews. Anyways guys, check that out, and let's get back to the video. Now for this review, I'm going to be kind of comparing them to the AirPods Pro as well as the Beats X headphones that are some of my favorite. Now one thing about the Beats X is they don't sell them anymore with this cool little wingtip. And the wingtip is what makes these great, I think, for comfort, staying in and stuff like that. I also really like these because they're comfortable, good audio quality. You also have those audio controls on the side there on the neckband which is really nice. However, the thing about these that get annoying is sometimes having it around your neck. If it's hot or something like that, it can be annoying and kind of make you itchy on the back of the neck. So that's why I was kind of looking for kind of like a portable alternative to use sometimes while still keeping these as my main go-to kind of headphones. So with that in mind, let's get into the review. So guys, what initially uh, picked up my, what initially kind of caught my eye about these headphones is the cool kind of red design. You can see there's the carrying case and they do really look good. I think these are some of the best looking earbuds around, as you can see there. Um, they have a really nice small design. It looks kind of like an AirPod here a little bit um, in terms of like kind of like the shape of the ear canal piece, but they're just incredibly small, um, less bulky than a lot of the uh, earbuds out there. And that's kind of what drew my eye to them. One of the cool things I do like about these is that if you could see here very carefully, I'm gonna zoom in, it has like actually a clicky button here which is really nice for playing audio, pausing audio, switching tracks, activating Siri, or um, depending on how you customize the controls in the settings, you could also activate a noise cancellation and stuff like that. So initially I thought you kind of had to tap it like the first generation of AirPods, but it has that clicky button, which is really nice. It's actually very similar to the clicky button on the AirPod Pro, but that's more like at the base. So that's kind of cool. One thing is, is that you are kind of clicking into it while it's in your ear. So it does kind of put a little bit of pressure in your ear and it kind of feels a little bit uncomfortable when doing that. Kind of similar to, like I said, the first generations of the AirPods where you were kind of tapping it really firmly. This one's a little bit better than that because it does have that button. But I do think the AirPod Pro having that design at the bottom of the base right around here does make it so you're not kind of pushing pressure into your ear which I do prefer. Now, in terms of these, what are some of the other cons? Well, they are kind of like an Apple branded product or owned by Apple. So as you can expect, they have that really good usability factor. All you do is open it up, put it by your phone, and it's pretty much connected. Another cool thing about these is that it has a pretty good price, um, around 150. It's not a bad deal for completely wireless earbuds that have noise canceling, noise transparency, and a decent audio quality. Now, I do think these sound pretty good for music. Um, especially some of the bassy stuff, it sounds pretty good and you don't really notice any problems with it. And I think they are worth the price for music, if, especially if you're exercising or doing something where a small footprint is going to be uh, an important factor. However, that said, um, I do think that for things like audiobooks, there are some problems, mainly because when the audio stops and kind of starts again, I do notice a slight hissing noise that I'm not noticing with my AirPods or my old Beats X. Um, neck band ear pods. So I definitely don't like that little bit of a hiss. If I really, really focus, I can hear it. If I'm trying not to listen to it, um, sometimes I, I don't really pick it up as much. Like I said, with music, I don't hear it as much, but with audiobooks, the audio just does not sound as good as it does on my AirPods. Some of the cons with these is that they have no wireless charging. You're just gonna have to plug it in at the bottom there. So that's something to consider. Not a big deal, but um, something to consider. It also has like a little black dot here that will pulse white and stuff like that when charging and when finished charging. Another con with this design is that there is no, um, of course, audio controls like with um, a neck band or some other um, kind of earbuds. You're going to have to control the audio with your phone. Some other things about these earbuds is I find the design of the case, it's a little bit tricky to get these in and how to fit them in here. You kind of have to put them in like that and sometimes it's kind of, it's not as intuitive as just the AirPods 
you know you kind of have to figure out the way they go in a little bit of a learning curve i also think that's true for putting them in your ear you kind of have to put them in like this and then when you get them in you're supposed to kind of turn them like this to get the seal um uh, not too bad honestly but you know it's a little bit tricky getting them out more uh, grabbing this little handle is not really much to grab on um you know like with the airpods you have that long stem um, which does make them look a little more stupid, I think, but these are a little bit trickier to get in and out of your ear too um, in terms of comfort. Anyways, guys, those are my short review of the Beats X Buzz that just came out. I think they're a decent um, pickup if you like listening to music while running or something active like that. However, if you're looking for a more fine-tuned audio experience with something especially like audiobooks or something that's stopping and pausing and you want a little bit better sound, I think it's a little bit worth it to kind of splurge and get the AirPods Pro or maybe some kind of neckband earbuds um, like the Beats X. That said, like I said, they don't really sell it with this thing anymore, the little wingtip, so they don't stay in that great um, without it. Yeah, you can buy replacements on Amazon, but I've heard they're not very good. So this is my last wingtip, probably my most treasured possession. Anyways, guys, I hope you liked that video. Let me know down in the comments down below which one is your favorite or what pair of earbuds is your favorite one, and I'll see you in the next video very soon.